Hey everybody, Howard Partridge coming to you from a cliffside uh, right next to Bondi Beach in Australia, mate. I uh, gotta check out this beach, it's phenomenal. Look at this. Isn't that just incredible? In fact, somebody has a little bed right over there on the cliff. I can only imagine what this is like in the summertime. It's winter time right now in uh, Australia, but I tell you what, I'm gonna be coming back during the summer, that's for sure. But I wanted to share with you, been thinking about leadership. There's some guys out here surfing, and of course, I don't know the first thing about surfing. I would get killed, I'd get get eaten by one of those great white sharks for sure. But the fact is, is that uh, you gotta learn how to surf. And you know, uh, doing workshops and, and helping uh, small business owners around the, the world, one of the things that's holding you back is not being able to get your employees to do what it is that you want them to do. You know, your employees can be your greatest asset or your biggest nightmare, and that mostly depends on your leadership skills. So I uh, want you to uh, begin to build your skills and leadership. One of the things that will really help is just have a staff meeting with them on a regular basis once a week. Meet with your production people once a day and really share with them your mission, your vision, your values, and spend uh, time with them, communicate with them. And after all, isn't that what community is all about, is communicating with one another? Have food together, take them on trips with you. I take my guys on a lot of different trips, and uh, now they're not with me here, I got my family with me, and I'm here with Mr. Tom Ziegler, and uh, we've been doing some work over in Melbourne, but this is just fabulous, and I just wanted to encourage you that you're not going to reach your biggest dreams in life by yourself. You're going to need to get people to help you out. And if you'll learn leadership skills, have those regular meetings with your staff, spend time with them, show them that you care about them. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Yes, you're the boss, but you've got to uh, add value to them. You know, John Maxwell says leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. How do you get influence? is by adding value to people. Show them that you care about them. Dale Carnegie says the number one thing that employees are looking for is sincere and honest appreciation. Not just doing the job. Yes, I know it's their job, but you know they come from maybe a dysfunctional environment, come from the chaos of the normal everyday world, and when they come into your place, you know what if they came into a predictable environment where they could grow? And that's the wonderful thing I love about having a staff of 40 people that run my company somewhere across the world, somewhere. Uh, they've got systems. They have job descriptions. We have a mission. We have values. They know what the goals are, and they're able to grow. We're growing leaders. So you can do the same thing. Anybody can do it. And I just wanted to share that tip with you from the cliff side. Woo, look at that. Bondi Beach. Australia. Good day, mate.